Hey guys, what's up? Serena Pia here from thriftdiving.com and today I'm taking this $10 frame from the thrift store. It was 30% off, so $7. We're gonna remove the mirror, add some quarter inch plywood and use our stapler to staple on some gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I'm telling you, it looks like watercolors. It's beautiful. And we are gonna make DIY wall art. It's super easy and I think even a beginner would feel confident doing this project. So stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to do it and I hope it doesn't take much time. So what you couldn't see behind this thrifted mirror was all the adhesive that was holding the mirror to the frame. And it was a really hot day outside, so thankfully it started to melt. And that made it a little bit easier to remove the mirror. But there was still a lot of built up gunk that needed to be scraped off. So I used a little bit of adhesive remover, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then used a utility knife to try to scrape away as much as I could. That took the longest, that was about 30 minutes. So that was a messy job. I think now we're ready to just clean this up and then we can paint it. Before painting picture frames or furniture, you really wanna use a good degreaser because otherwise the paint is not gonna to stick to your project. Before painting though, I wanted to see if my quarter inch plywood would fit. Now it was only about one quarter of an inch too wide, which was almost perfect. I went ahead, measured the bottom to see how long I would need to cut it, and then used my speed square to draw a nice straight 90 degree line, continuing that straight line with a straight edge so that when I cut it with my jigsaw, it would be a nice straight cut. I also did the same for the quarter inch piece on the side that needed to be removed so that it would be a perfect fit. I wanted to give this frame a nice fresh white coat of paint. Now because I was using a chalk based paint, I didn't have to sand or prime or do any extensive prep work. Just clean and then paint and I can let it dry. I used my jigsaw to cut the piece of plywood to size for the frame. Now if you don't have a jigsaw or you're not sure how to use one, be sure to go back to thriftdiving.com or check my YouTube channel for a full tutorial on how to get started with the jigsaw. So I think the paint might be dry on the picture frame. Now let's go check and see if this actually fits the picture frame. And let me tell you, this rarely ever happens, but it was a perfect fit. So we could pop it out and get ready for the next step. And now we are ready to take this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric and staple it onto the back of our quarter inch plywood. We know that the plywood fits the frame because we cut it and it fits. So don't you love when cuts actually come out perfect? So anyway, this is the fabric that we're gonna use. Now it was expensive, it was $45 a yard. And that was actually with a 15% discount. Um, but you know what? And I know that that doesn't make this project totally thrifty, but when you find something that you love, you just have to buy it. For this next step, I used my T50X Tacmate that Aero Fastener sent to me to use for this project. And I flipped the fabric over the edge of the plywood and I used one quarter inch heavy duty staples to secure the fabric to the left side. Once the right side was stapled, I went to the left, pulled the fabric as tight as I could and put some staples in there. And I just continued to pull it tight as I went, making sure that it was nice, secure, and flat. I didn't want any sort of bubbles, wrinkles, anything that would look bad when I flipped it over. When I got to the corners, I folded those in slightly and then stapled with maybe two or three staples to secure it. And the easiest way to remove the excess fabric was to slide a cutting mat underneath and then use a rotary cutter to remove the excess. Now is the final test to put it inside the frame and see if it actually looks good and stays attached. So let's do it. Most frames have the little metal prongs on the back that if you push them down, it will secure the piece of wood and the fabric to your frame. Ta-da! You see, I told you this was gonna be a super easy project, which is unlike some of my other projects, but this one really was simple. It took about an hour and a half total, and we took this old frame from the thrift store for like seven bucks, removed the mirror, mounted this amazing, gorgeous, watercolor, turquoise linen fabric on a piece of quarter inch plywood, and just popped it back in the frame. And what's really cool is because we used our Aero Fastener stapler, we can pop out those staples, change the fabric with a different season and then 
doesn't matter what time of year it is. We can put something in there for the fall, spring, summer. We have all the seasons covered. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to go back to the blog and get all the materials that you need for this project. And you know what? Subscribe because I love new subscribers and you don't want to miss the next project. So I will see you next project and you can find me at thriftdiving.com.